Man, science is hard. Somebody say science? Who are you? I'm Jermaine, and I'm gonna help you with your science homework. How can anyone possibly help me with Newton's three laws of motion? I love Newton's three laws of motion. Here, let's start with the first one. Well, what is Newton's first law of motion? I already showed you an example when I slid into the room earlier. How? Well, Newton's first law is also called inertia, and inertia is a law that states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Now, what do you think the unbalanced force was when I slid into the room? The floor? Yes, that's exactly right. So, now that you know that, you know what Newton's first law is. Yeah. So if that's an example of Newton's first law of motion, then me just sitting here is also an example, right? Of course, because you are now an object at rest, and you will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So what's Newton's second law of motion? Jermaine? Whoa! Ah, <laughs> uh, man. What was that? Jermaine? What? Jermaine? That Whoa! <laughs> was Newton's second law of motion. How? Because Newton's second law of motion is that the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force that is applied. Hmm, that's still kind of confusing. Well, Let's think of you as the object with a certain amount of mass. Now, I would have to apply a certain amount of force to get the acceleration to make you go into that room. Do you get it now? So... <laughs> that is a perfect example of Newton's second law. Where'd you get those glasses? That's not important, because now we are on Newton's final and third law of motion, which is that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, so if you were to push me, then I'd push you back? Not exactly. What I mean by an equal and opposite reaction is that when a force is exerted on an object, there is an opposite force pushing back, which is the resistance to motion, which we learned about in inertia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that is the third law of motion. Sweet. Jose? How do you know my name? That's unimportant. We've been working on these science laws for who knows how long now. Like and I 20 think, minutes. Yeah. Well, I think... I can finally bestow upon you the honorary nerd glasses of the scientific nerds. Use them wisely. Thank you. I will teach other people what you've taught me by yes. breaking into their houses and scaring them. So, uh, can you help me on my math homework? Uh, yeah, just, just hang on. All right.